Have you ever heard the saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is? Well, that couldn't be more true than when it comes to pyramid schemes. They promise easy money and financial freedom, but in reality, they leave countless victims broke and disillusioned. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into some of the world's biggest ever pyramid schemes. First, we have to ask, what are pyramid schemes and how do they work? Pyramid schemes are illegal scams that promise easy money to participate by recruiting new members into the scheme. The premise is pretty simple. You pay an upfront fee to join the scheme, and then you earn money by recruiting others to join under you. The more people you recruit, the more money you make. At first glance, pyramid schemes may seem like a legitimate business opportunity. They're often labeled as multi-level marketing businesses, but where those focus on using the power of community to sell products. Pyramid schemes focus on getting more members, and that's what makes them illegal in most countries. Pyramid schemes are designed to enrich the people at the top of the pyramid at the expense of everybody else. While it's true that some people may make money in the early stages of the scheme, this is often short-lived. These schemes eventually collapse, and when this happens, the vast majority of participants lose their money, while the founders walk away with their ill-gotten gains. Thankfully, with our first example of a pyramid scheme, the founders didn't quite get away with it. Burn Lounge Burns Lounge Incorporated operated between 2004 and 2007. The company claimed to offer an online marketplace for digital music, movies, and other digital products. At first, that might sound like a cool idea for a community-led small business opportunity. Only, Burn Lounge's business model was based on recruiting people to become independent retailers and sell digital products through their own Burn Lounge website more than it was to make money selling music. The company was eventually sued by the Federal Trades Commission after three years of operations in 2007 when it became clear that this was not a legitimate business model and was in fact a pyramid scheme. The FTC also alleged that Burn Lounge's compensation plan encouraged recruitment over actual product sales by a huge 90% to 10% split. In 2006, Burn Lounge posted revenues of $19.16 million. But in late June 2007, a federal court ruled that Burn Lounge was indeed a pyramid scheme and had been lying to those it recruited. The company was ordered to cease trading immediately. They carried on fighting and appealing the court's decision, but in 2014, they eventually lost. And the FTC ended up sending $1.9 million out to those who have been duped by the scheme in compensation. Whilst Burn Lounge was around for just a short time, our next pyramid scheme was conning people for over 10 whole years. Fortune High Tech Marketing Fortune High Tech Marketing, or FHTM, was in operations between 2001 and 2013 in Kentucky, United States. They marketed a variety of products, including home security systems, health supplements, and satellite TV services via their independent seller base. To sign up, there were fees that ranged from $99 and $299. Representatives were then encouraged to recruit additional representatives. The commission earned for selling the products was only 0.25% and 1% with a huge bonus for recruiting new members, meaning that they would have to recruit new representatives to earn bonuses in order to recoup their initial investment. In 2013, the company was shut down by the Federal Trades Commissions, the FTC, and the Attorneys General of Illinois, Kentucky, and North Carolina. The FTC determined that the majority of FHTM's revenue was generated through member recruitment, not by sales, and that they had lied about the potential revenue gains to con members into joining. In a settlement with the FTC, FHTM was ordered to pay $169 million in restitution to its victims. The company's co-founders were also fined $1.3 million each and permanently banned from operating any future companies of this kind. They aren't the only tech-based pyramid scheme on this list either. Next, we have Telex Free. Telex Free. Telex Free was a company based in Massachusetts in the United States, started by James Merrill and Carlos Wenzeler, that was in business between 2012 and 2014. It was all focused on an internet telephone service where people could make calls at a low cost over their internet connection, something many of us do today. The problem? Telex Free's business model was based on recruiting people to become promoters of the company's service. As well as gaining commission from selling the call service, promoters could score even more money by, you guessed it, recruiting more promoters into the chain. 
In 2014, the company was shut down by the Massachusetts Securities Division and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Members were hooked with a promise of 200% returns on their investment, when in reality, more and more money was just sent up the chain to Merrill and Wanzeller, who were also arrested and charged with fraud and money laundering when the case was settled. The Telex Free case is one of the most famous examples of pyramid schemes in the United States, and is significant because it demonstrates how pyramid schemes can operate in the digital age, and how companies can use technology to mask their true business practices. But technology isn't the only thing people use to try and cover up a pyramid scheme. People's health and well-being is also a common target, just like with Wake Up Now. Wake Up Now Wake Up Now ran from 2009 to 2015 and operated out of Marlboro, Massachusetts. The company marketed a variety of products like nutritional supplements, energy drinks, and financial management tools, targeting people's physical and mental health and well-being knowing that people saw it as a promising market back in 2009. The benefits were missold, and members would never make their money back by just selling the products. So they would need to rope their friends, family members, and social media followers in too, just to make their money back. In 2015, the company filed for bankruptcy and shut down its operations, following a decline in revenue and a series of legal challenges. They had been described by the industry experts as a pyramid scheme and an economic cult. The company had also faced criticism over its aggressive marketing tactics and its high-pressure recruitment strategies. So how do you feel about these schemes? And how can you tell a business opportunity from a pyramid scheme? Let us know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel and tap that notification bell so you don't miss our next video, and we'll see you in the next one.